Lewis has experienced a renaissance of sorts, complete with green space and new attractions. St. Louis is really welcoming, and we hear that a lot from visitors, conventioneers, and um, people that move here from other cities. But sometimes the view, or should we say point of view, is very different. It's surprising when I visit another city and they say, man, what is going on in St. Louis? Part of the problem we have in terms of public image is that crime statistics problem. When our crime stats are reported to the FBI, they're talking about St. Louis proper, not St. Louis metropolitan area. If, if we were talking about the St. Louis metropolitan area, which would include like 1.5 million people, we would never be in, you know, in competition to some of the more higher violent places. So the, the large acreage is not included within the proper, and so naturally our numbers are, would, would reflect a lot higher. There's nothing about our crime problem that's specific to St. Louis. The fact that crime is highly localized among places and also among people, not specific to St. Louis. We do have an issue, but it's not to the proportion where most people come to think it is. The truth about crime in St. Louis is that a lot of times it's perceived to be a lot more widespread because it's reported on so often. But uh, if people were paying attention, they could tell that it, it is limited to certain areas and centered around certain types of behavior. The St. Louis Police Department has put several innovative ideas in place to make the city safer, like their real-time crime center. The center is staffed 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We like to have a couple analysts working. We have uh, both civilian analysts and commissioned detectives that are in here uh, to get information out quicker. Located at police headquarters, the real-time crime center has access to 1,000 cameras located all over the city. It's a force multiplier for us, so we have um, the ability to watch people and to watch areas, to watch large events as they occur downtown. So if the detectives in the center identify a crime happening, um, or there's just an event going on, like a parade downtown. We definitely have a lot more people in the center that are watching the crowds to make sure everybody's safe. Another one of those preventative measures includes license plate reader technology, also known as LPR cameras. Since the Real-Time Crime Center opened in May of 2015, the center's been directly responsible for over 1,800 serious arrests in the city, and that's including over 4,300 additional charges. And those are serious crimes, so that's a pretty significant number, so we know we're helping to improve the overall safety of our city. If there are events at one of St. Louis's largest event spaces, America Center, the police department is included in several meetings to help keep the event goers safe. We recently hosted an event that brought over 35,000 people to the dome at America Center. They were here for three days. Not one event, negative event, happened during their stay. And about a month ago, we had another 35,000 in downtown St. Louis for an event. Again, not one car break in, not one incident that people would think should take place in St. Louis, but it didn't. Another innovation in downtown St. Louis is thanks to Light My STL a project that involves smart city technology and brand new, brighter streetlights that can be powered up to daylight levels on command. It really is going to add a great deal of surveillance as well as lighting to our city. Then there's Better Family Life's Vice President of Outreach, James Clark. His gun violence de-escalation program was nationally recognized by how it's helping the city of St. Louis. So it's a new and innovative model where it was acknowledged by the president as one of the most innovative programs in, in America, born right here in St. Louis. Clark says thanks to this program and his team, they've prevented 95 shootings so far. We have come out of our state of what we call analysis paralysis. We're now taking very aggressive, proactive steps to, to turning St. Louis around. That organization does things to offset violence by supplying jobs, supplying um, drug treatment. As we bring that model to scale, we will be able to move the needle in a positive direction and in a relatively short period of time. Downtown St. Louis resident LaShawna Lewis says crime was never a personal worry for her when she decided to move to the area. She says she loves living and hanging out in the city. I love to walk. I feel like you find so many things about a neighborhood when you walk around. I've feel like whenever you have a chance to walk around, it's totally worth it. You find out there are little stores and 
little areas that maybe you never saw before when you're in a car and you're just zooming past. There is a lot to do here. There are so many hidden gems. We use all of the tools in the toolkit to ensure that when you're here, you're gonna be safe in downtown St. Louis. Come have a good time. There's so many really cool, fun things that are happening in downtown, and I think everybody should come down and see what we're doing.